Okay, today we're gonna do our little watershed model that we have right here. And as you can see, we have a lot of different points right here. We have a construction site in the top left, a factory in the top right. These are areas that contamination can possibly come from. You see that we're starting to make it rain. Water's now falling onto this. This, we call this a catchment area, base of drainage. And it all goes to, pretty much flows to one source. So it starts at the construction site, factory, and it all comes down to the lake. And usually this is characteristic of drainage basins or catchment areas. As we still see the water kind of flowing right here, notice where the water is going towards. I'm trying to spread some of the water out so we can evenly get the water evenly on the catchment area because this is what real life would be like. So as you see right here, we're pumping water out of a bucket, pumping it on top of the watershed, water flowing down the creeks, down the rivers, underneath the bridges, and as you see right here, bridge is starting to go away. Notice that some of the water will actually go into the groundwater as well. There's little holes on this model to uh, simulate that. And it all comes down to the lake. All right, we we'll drain some of the water right now. This would probably be, you know, showing maybe evaporation, or it could be like the ocean, maybe. Water would just kind of go away. But continuously, a uh, catchment area like this, water will go into the groundwater. Okay, now we have a pollutant. This will be the red, so you can follow a little bit easier. We're trying to put this in areas where we have a point source pollution, such as the construction site or the factory. As you can see, the water eventually all flows down to the lake. Now we'll show a little bit more rain. This will kind of wash some of the pollutants out. But as you can see, these pollutants are going to be very much into the catchment area, into the groundwater, into the streams, and into the lake. Another point source of pollution could also be the farm right there on the bottom right. All right, that all will drain the lake again. I'm going to tip it a little down, and we're kind of washing away all the pollutants. All right, so that's pretty much just a simple model of a watershed. Again, a watershed is just a large catchment area where it can be very broad starting up in the highlands and then narrow down to usually a point. It's usually separated by ridges or mountains. This little one is just a simple model to show you that water flows into ground, water that flows down streams, and it flows down to one single point into our little lake, which could be the ocean in real life. But again, just to give you a little idea um, where pollutants could come from, and you should kind of notice, notice, on this, notice on this model that point sources would be the farm on the bottom right. There's a sewage treatment plant in the middle, top left construction, top right a factory. Uh, so yeah, so this is a model of a watershed.